programmers, it's Anthony from Pretty Print It. In this video, I will show you how to connect to an open weather map API so you can get the weather in case you couldn't figure it out by just going outside. So open weather map provides free access to APIs that allow you to get the current weather, get forecasts, and get historical data. In this video, I'll be focusing on getting the current weather, in particular, the current temperature. So what we're going to build today is a very simple app that allows you to get the current temperature using any zip code that you want. And uh, for this video, it's going to be US zip codes, but you can easily change the country code to anything else. But uh, let's try 02134. And I hit submit, and it gives me the current temperature 52 degrees. And this is like a Boston area zip code. So that's the temperature in Boston right now as of recording this video. To build this app, we'll be using an API from openweathermap.org. This is a site where it's free to sign up and get an API key to use these different weather APIs. For this particular app, I only need the current weather data. So let me go to the API doc for this. And it's pretty simple. They give you example calls on how to do this. I'll be using zip code. Uh, I know that the zip code can take a country along with the zip code, but for my purposes, I'll only be using a U.S. zip code. But if you're anywhere else in the world, you can use uh, your country code along with the zip code. So you see right here, um, you have zip 94040 and then U.S. That's just for a U.S. postal code. But um, it could be any other country, as you can see in this API spec. And then I have a free account, which gives me an API key, and I'll be using that key in my API call. So let's get started on the actual app. Here I have a bare bones Flask app that doesn't have any routes yet. And then I have two templates. So first, let me create routes to return these templates, and then I can explain uh, what they're supposed to do. So the first route I want is app route uh, temperature. This is going to be the one that actually displays the temperature like you saw earlier. So methods is going to be post only. And then I'll name the function temperature. And I want to return the temperature.html. Okay, and then I'll create a second route. And this one can just be my index. And I'll return index. Okay, so let me start the server and I will view the page. So nothing yet, but now I see zip code and then it gives me a form. And then when I hit submit, it sends me to uh, the temperature page and there's no temperature value. So it just says the current temperature is blank degrees. So now let's fill this in. The most important part is the uh, temperature route. I actually don't have to do anything for the index, but the temperature route, I'll have to actually call the API. And to call the API, I need to have the request library imported, which I have right here. So requests, this is basically what you use in Python to send requests to any URLs. You can use other libraries, but I think requests is the best and it's, it's really easy to use. So the first thing I want to do is actually send the request. So in temperature, I am going to get the, uh, the form value. So let's start with that. The form value will be in the re request object. So don't confuse the request object in Flask with the requests library for Python. So using the request object in Flask, I'm going to get the, what did I call the value zip, zip code. So I'll just say zip equals zip. And for now, I'll just return the zip code. Oh, that's a reserve word, so I'll say zip code. And wrong language. So zip code is equal to request.form zip. So I'll save that and I'll try running the app. And I'll just put in one for the zip code and it returns one. So I know that's working. So the next step is I want to actually call the API. So um, the response will be R and then I'll use request 
dot get because I'm doing a git call. And now let me get the URL that I need to send the request to. So here is the URL, but instead I'll use this example because it has the um, API key. So let me just save that and I will put it in here. So just like that. So my API key is different, so I'll change that first. I'll take this, copy it, and paste it there. And then this part is the part that I'm really concerned with. So there's cleaner ways of doing this, but since there's only one value, I'll just add it directly in the middle. So zip code. So that's gonna replace um, this variable with the actual zip code that I pass in. And then this whole URL will get sent through a get request and then R will be the response. And just to see the raw response, I'll do uh, r.txt. So um, let's say JSON object is r.txt. So this isn't actually um, a JSON object, it's just a representation of one, or well, you'll see in a second. So JSON object, and I'll go back to the index here. And let's see. 90051 submit and here's the response so this is actually text but of course you can see it's in the format of json so for the temperature i need to find out where it is and how deeply nested it is so here's the uh opening bracket for the json object and then i'm looking for let's see the main so Let's see, where is it? Coordinates, weather. Here we go, main. And then from main, there's a sub object called temp. And the temperature is in, in Kelvin, it's not in Fahrenheit or Celsius, so I'll convert this in a second. But um, I need to go down two levels. I need to go to main first and then temp. So let me get that. So I'll change this JSON object to JSON instead of text because I actually want to parse it as JSON. And then I'll have an object say uh, temp K for the temperature in Kelvin is going to be JSON object. And then main. And then temp. So let me return the temp K to make sure everything goes well. So here it's 290.24. So I'll do same zip code, 90051. And let's see, I think. That should have the parentheses. So let me try that again. And I forgot to convert it. So uh, this is a float. So I'll convert it to float here because I'm going to do a calculation. And then here I'll convert it to a string. So stir temp k. So now it should work. So 90051. Okay, so I get 290.24, which is the degrees in Kelvin. So the next thing I'll do is I'll uncomment the template and I'll return temp K just for now. So temp equals temp K. And I'll make sure this works. And something went wrong. So unexpected indent. Let's see. I hate this error the most in Python. I'll save that. And, okay, it's running now. So same zip code. And now we see the current temperature is 290.24 degrees. But this is in Kelvin. I went in Fahrenheit because I live in the United States and all the temperature that I read is in Fahrenheit. So I'll convert it. I found the formula for converting uh, degrees Kelvin to degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll have another variable called temp F. And the formula is uh, temp k 
so the degrees in Kelvin, minus 273.15. Then this gets multiplied by 1.8, and then you add 32. And I'll return temp F. So now I'll do 90051. The current temperature is 62.762 degrees. So 90051 is an area code in Los Angeles. So let's see what the weather is in Los Angeles right now. Angeles weather. 62 degrees. So it's about right. Um, I live in Las Vegas. So let me use 89128. This is a Las Vegas one. 86.648 degrees. And I'll do Las Vegas weather. And you see here it's 86 degrees. So just a cool little thing you can play around with. Um, just in case you wanted to build an app that had the weather in it, now you know where you can get um, a free weather API for your app. So that concludes this video. Please like this video and leave any questions or comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and check out my other videos. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to you next time.